Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales. And today, we're revisiting a liqueur that we talked about a while ago. A while ago, like when the pandemic started. I believe it was April. Yeah, but the pandemic was already in full swing, so we're like, no. Mm -hmm. So what are we doing? So in that last video, all the way back in the wonder year time for the April of this year, I said that I was going to try to do a mojito, mm -hmm. that I would try to do a mojito with the Chiro, mm -hmm. since it has a mint taste to it, mm -hmm. and since spearmint is part of the makeup of this liqueur, I figured it would be an easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. Never got around to it, didn't think about it, moved on to other things. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna hold to that promise and come back because I do think that a mojito with this mm -hmm. ingredient specifically would be interesting. Okay. So, and I know it's another mojito video, but calm down. Summer's not over yet. Exactly. And, and I didn't get to do the things I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically in July. <laughs> And I'm still salty about that, and y'all gonna hear about it for as long as this channel is going. So, we're making another mojito. Buckle up, baby. <laughs> Alright, so, what we got? How um, you doing this one? Like, like a regular mojito, we're just gonna add some, <laughs> some Chiro in here. But, I mean, if we have to name our process, I'm going... So, okay, we're gonna do things kind of sort of differently because I'm not gonna muddle the mint. Okay. And the reason that is is because we already have enough mint when I put this in here. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna do too much of a mint overload, mm -hmm. but I will be putting actual mint in the drink okay. just to, you know, flavor it and whatnot. Okay. So, gird your own. Everything's gonna be okay. And I'm gonna do juice a half a lime. And then I'm going to do my simple syrup. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna do you regular simple syrup because you looked at me like I was a heathen when I suggested you would ginger simple syrup. That's right. I thought that would be amazing. You were like crazy enough where you were sure I don't don't you were like, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do like a three-fourths of an ounce of simple syrup. Mm -hmm. We'll add our syrup next. Because this is the star. I'm only gonna do half ounce of syrup. Bottle has seen better day because we have pretty much wiped it out. Mm -hmm. So, any fans want to send us a new bottle of Chiron, feel free. <laughs> I will accept with all gratitude. Then we will do, I'm going to do an ounce and a half Flor de Cagna. The legend has it, it is the best. Rum for a mojito. Really? I believe. Okay. Or was it the best rum for another drink that I'm thinking about? It's probably mojito. It's probably mojito. Then I'm gonna add some mint that I got from the local grocer. And I'm not gonna throw too much in there, just a few leaves. One at least. I'm gonna say six to ten. Please. What do you think? Is six too little? Is ten too much? You be the judge. You're the one making the drink. <laughs> We're gonna put those in there. Mm -hmm. And you're not muddling. No. So instead, you're just shaking. Right. I'm just gonna shake it all up in there because. We got enough men in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna 
this really, yeah, I, I don't wanna, you know, overdo it. Mm -hmm. So that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Plus I just kinda don't feel like busting out the bubble. <laughs> We're gonna add our ice next. Because you can't shake without your ice. And speaking of shaking, we're gonna do just that. And we're going to strike. And of course, we top with some club salt. And you know what? Just for the hell of it. This is the suspect test. Sharon Mobia. Tastes like a mojito. Is there any sense of the Chiron there. Oh, the Chiron is definitely in there. Did the regular mint enhance the Chiron or is the Chiron mm -hmm. enhancing the mint? The Chiron is enhanced. It's actually really good. It's actually a great alternative take on a mojito. It's really good. Even the lime is kind of bringing it out too. That is good. That is really good actually. Kind of looking like you're gonna drink that all up. <laughs> I pretty much want to. So let's throw some stuff out there because I like to talk a little. After we do these things, mm -hmm. if you go to Chiro's website, mm -hmm. they give you a lot of recipes mm -hmm. for how to use their product. Not one time do they use rum in any of those recipes. Like, I specifically went through all of them to make sure mm -hmm. you get tequila, mm -hmm. you get vodka. You get mezcal, mm -hmm. you even get some some bourbon or whiskey mm -hmm. thrown in there a couple of times. Even pisto, not one rum cocktail. Mm -hmm. And well, I got one now. And I always thought that was weird. And perhaps they didn't think that rum would mesh well with this. Or maybe whoever their mixologist is that came up with the uh, cocktails using Chiro didn't think they used one. Was there a, was there an old fashioned? I don't think there was, ironically. So maybe they were trying to be as unique. But as they possible. but they do a lot of. So there was a gin and tonic, mm -hmm. which I thought was interesting. Sure, that, that sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah, and I'm I'm thinking that's interesting too because I'm wondering if you use the old the old pier, mm -hmm. if you use old pier gin with Chiro in a gin and tonic, how would that taste? 
that might be too many different flavors. You are right. <clears throat> I would recommend I would recommend doing mojitos like this just as much as doing traditional mojitos. Cause I thought I thought this made for a good mojito. And maybe also too, maybe maybe the mixologist thought that this was a no-brainer. Fair enough. Or I'm gonna throw this out here as well. No, that can't be it. Forget I was even thinking that. Never mind. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, whatever, whatever the case, good job. It was pretty good. Do we have a name for this specific drink? I mean, the Shiro Mojito worked fine for me. Okay. I don't need to get fancy with it. Okay. The Shiro Mojito. The Shiro Ito. That's not what you Yeah, you can stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell so that you are aware of all content coming to the channel. Also check us out on Twitter and also check us out on Instagram. And until next time, peace.